In this video, we'll look at how we add dimensions and view cross-sections in a SketchUp model. For our example, we'll use the design of a mouthpiece for a penny whistle, and in the process, we'll learn a little bit about how a whistle works. The first thing that we want to do is get our units and precision uh, correct. So we'll go uh, off the main menu to Window, and then select Model Info. This brings up a pop-up, and we want to set the format of our units to decimal and millimeters. And the precision we want to have at 0, 0.0 millimeters, which means we'll be able to see precision to the tenth of a millimeter. Next thing that we're going to do is add a, another uh, toolbar. Uh, go to View Toolbars and we'll scroll down in the list and then select the Views toolbar, uh, which will make it easier to navigate around our object. So you'll see that this pops up a toolbar that lets you see the uh, isometric view, top view, front view, right view, back, and left side. Uh, for some reason it doesn't have bottom, but you can get that by going to Camera, Standard Views, and then uh, select Bottom. And there's the, the bottom view of our whistle. Here's the front, and here's the isometric. Note that we have parallel projection selected, not perspective projection for this example. Now what we want to do is add dimensions by clicking on the uh, Dimensions tool, and we'll click on one endpoint of a line, and then click a second time on another endpoint of a line, drag, and click a third time. So it takes three clicks to add dimensions. Let's try it again on another line, click once on an endpoint, click on the other endpoint, drag, and then click a third time. We can delete the dimensions once we've put them on there simply by selecting and hitting the delete key. Now let's take a look at uh, our model from different views. We'll take a look at the side. And then we'll rotate around. And what we'd like to see is a little bit about the internal geometry. As we rotate, um, using the uh, that tool we're dragging around. It's hard to see exactly what's going on with the uh, inner geometry. So what we can do uh, to, to better see that is to use a cross-section. The little crosshairs icon is the section plane tool. We can also find that under tools section plane. So we'll select that and then if we uh, drag the plane over to a face of our object, we'll see that it creates a cross-section there. If we then select the section plane and use the Move tool uh, to drag that forward or backward, okay, so not the Push-Pull tool, but the Move tool, we'll see that we can dig deeper or, or pull out from the model and get different cross-sections. So we'll push in a little bit further, and here we can clearly see the airway and the blade of the whistle. Once we have a cross-section drawn, we can also continue to pan and zoom and so on. If we want to get rid of a section plane, we can select it and hit the lead. Okay, now let's look at what's going on inside with the blade in more detail. We'll select the side view, and then section plane, and rather than placing it directly on a face, um, we'll look normal to the, uh, the plane that we're looking in, and here we can really see pretty well what's going on inside the whistle. We'll zoom in, and in particular, um, look how the blade um, lets a thin sheet of air uh, pass underneath it. Let's see how big that gap is using the dimension tool. So we'll click on the end of the blade, the line where the blade is, 
click on the uh, endpoint for the end of the airway, drag up, and we can barely see uh, because the arrow's there, but it's 0.2 millimeter gap. And that's one of the most important dimensions in uh, getting a whistle to work, just letting that thin sheet of air. We'll delete that. And then if we select the uh, section plane and hit the delete key, okay, the cross section is gone. Now let's just take a look at uh, a couple of other dimensions. We'll go back to the isometric view, and then we'll view it from the bottom, from camera, standard views, bottom. And let's look at how we place the airway, which is uh, one of the trickier details of the design of the whistle. We'll zoom in, and then we'll use the dimension tool um, to look at the distance from uh, the edge of the airway, so we'll select its midpoint, drag down, um, click again, drag, click a third time, and we see that that is 2.2 millimeters um, from the top, which is what gives us the uh, 0.2 millimeter gap between the blade and the airway.